ओम भूर्भुवह स्वह तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गुदेव से दीनो यो नचोदया शांति 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 नमस्ते माई डियर फ्रेंड्स and uh, this is first video on the avdhut gita avdhut gita is a very very important text of advaita vedanta or non dualism so i start the first video the avdhut gita is a text of vedanta representing extreme advaita or non dualism it is ascribed to dattatre datta son of atri who is looked upon as an incarnation of god unfortunately we possess no historical data concerning when or where he was born how long he lived or how he arrived at the knowledge disclosed in the text some of the puranas mention him and of these the markandeya containing the longest reference but even this is legendary and by no means very informative The account in the Markandeya Purana suggests the following facts of the Tatriya's life. He was born of highly spiritual parents Atri and Ansuya. Very early in life he became a renowned as a great warrior and soon renouncing the world and devoting himself to the practice of yoga he attained to the highest state of liberation thus becoming an avadhuta avadhuta means a liberated soul one who has passed away from or shaken off all worldly attachments and cares and has attained a spiritual state equivalent to the existence of god do avdhuta naturally implies renunciation it includes an additional and yet higher state which is neither attachment nor detachment but beyond both and avdhuta feels no need of observing any rules either secular or religious he seeks nothing avoids nothing he has neither knowledge nor ignorance having realized that he is the infinite self he lives in that vivid realization to the hindu mind dattatre is a symbol of this realization whoever he unknown compose who ever the unknown composer of the avdhut gita may have been he must himself have been a man of the highest spiritual perception the avdhut gita is a small book of only eight chapters and is written in spirited sanskrit verse which breathes the atmosphere of the highest experience of dharma it goes into no philosophical argument to prove the oneness of reality but is content to mark the make the most startling statements leaving the seeker of truth to imbibe them and be lifted from illusion into the blazing light of knowledge jnana advaita vedantins have praised this gita highly Swami Vivekananda one of the greatest advaitins of all time 
often quoted from it. He once said, Men like the one who wrote this song keep religious religion alive. They have actually realized they care for nothing, feel nothing done to the body, care not for heat, cold, danger or anything. They still enjoying the bliss of Atma and though red hot cold burn the body, they feel them not. Avadhut Gita Chapter 1 Isvara Anugraha Dev Punsam Advaita Vashana Madbha Pritrana Dvi Prana Mup Jayate This is stanza number 1, Chapter 1. Though the grace of God alone, the desire for non-duality, arises in wise men to save them from great fear. Non-duality, monistic consciousness in which the knower, knowledge and knowable soul and God become one, the highest realization of a divinity. Fear. The word fear includes also such states of mind as insecurity, despair and grief, all of which arise from a consciousness of oneself as limited and separate from others and which therefore can be dispelled only by rea realizing oneself as Well, oneself as all the uh, stanza number two. Ye nedam puritam sravam atman navi atman nan atmani nirakram katham vande hai bhinnam siv me vayam. How shall I salute the formless being? indivisible, auspicious and immutable, who fills all this with his self and also fills the self with his self. Salute, no form of greeting or worship is possible where there is no consciousness of distinction. Fields, etc. The reality and substance of the so-called individual self is the divine self. Stanza 3 Panch Bhutatmakam Vesvam Marichi Jal Sannibham Kasya Pehau Namaskuriya Mahameko Niranjanaha The universe composed of the five elements is like water in a mirage. Oh, to whom shall I make obeisance? I am. I who am one and tenthless. Five elements, earth, water, fire, air and ether. According to most philosophical systems of India, these combine to constitute the phenomenal universe and are derived from God associated with Maya or ignorance. The terms are not to be taken literally. Tentless, untouched by the slightest ignorance and hence absolutely pure, the word is often applied to the self and God. Stanza number four. Atvam mai kevalam sarvam bheda bhedo ne vidyate asti na asti katham bruyam vismah pratibhati me. All is verily the absolute self. Distinction and non-distinction do not exist. 
how can i say it exist it does not exist i am filled with wonder it that is universe stanza 5 vedant sar sarva sarvam gyanam vigyanam eva cha अहम आत्मा निराकार है सर्वव्यापी सो भावतः द असेंस एंड द होल ऑफ वेदांत इज दिस नॉलेज दिस सुप्रीम नॉलेज दैट आई एम बाय नेचर द फॉर्मलेस ऑल परविजिंग सेल्फ स्टेंजा नंबर 6 यो वै सर्वात्मा को देवो निष्कलो गगनोपम सो भाव निर्मल है शुद्ध है स एवा अहम न संशय है देयर इज नो डाउट दैट आई एम दैट गॉड हु इज द सेल्फ ऑफ ऑल प्योर इनडिविजिबल लाइक द स्काई नेचुरली स्टेनलेस स्टेंजा सेवन अहम एवा वयो अनंत शुद्ध विज्ञान विग्रह सुखम दुखम न जानामी कथम कश्या वर्त आई इंडीड एम इम्यूटेबल एंड इनफिनिट एंड ऑफ द फॉर्म ऑफ प्योर इंटेलिजेंस आई डो नॉट नो हाउ और इन रिलेशन टू होम जॉय एंड सोरो एग्जिस्ट स्टेंजा नंबर एट ने मानसम करम सुभाषुभम मे ने कायिक करम सुभाषु मे ने वाचिक करम सुभाषुभम मे ज्ञान अमृत शुद्ध मतेन्द्रिय अहम आई हैव नो मेंटल एक्टिविटी गुड और बैड आई हैव नो बॉडिली फंक्शन गुड और बैड आई हैव नो वर्बल एक्शन गुड और बैड I am the nectar of knowledge beyond the senses pure. Stanza number 9. Mano vai gagna karam mano vai sarvato mukham mano atitam manah sarvam ne manah parmartha. The mind indeed indeed is of the form of space. The mind indeed is omni faced the mind is the past the mind is all but in reality there is no mind all the phenomenal universe including all time and space in reality in the highest realization of the spirit there is no mind stanza number 10 अहमेका सर्व व्योम अतीत निरंतर पश्या कथमात्मा प्रत्यक्ष वाद आई द वन ओनली एम ऑल दिस बियॉन्ड स्पेस एंड कॉन्टिन्यूअस हाउ कैन आई सी द सेल्फ एज विजिबल और हिडन कॉन्टिन्यूअस विदाउट द इंटरवेंशन ऑफ अनदर सब्सटेंस देयर फॉर होमोजीनियस एंड अनडिफ्रेंसिएटेड हिडन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द सेल्फ एज बींग हिडन और विजिबल डज नॉट अराइज वेन वन one self is the self so chapter 1 stanza number 11 tau mev mekam hi katham ne buddhase samam hi sarvesu vi mrishta me vayam sadoti tosi tavam khandita hai prabhu diva che naktam che katham hi manne se thus you are one why then do you not understand that you are the unchangeable one equally perceived in all o mighty one how can you who are ever shining unrestricted think of day and night you dattatre now addresses the disciple to whom he is imparting the highest truth night there can be no perception of any time or condition in perfect self realization chapter 1 stanza number 11 12 atmanam satatam vidhi sarvatra ekam nirantaram अहम ध्याता प्रम 
ध्येयम खंडम खंडित कथम नो दि सेल्फ ऑलवेज टू बी एवरीवेयर वन एंड अन इंटरसेप्टेड आई एम द मेडिटेटर एंड द हाईएस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन व्हाई डू यू डिवाइड द इंडिविजुअल अन इंटरसेप्टेड सी नोट ऑन कंटिन्यूअस वर्स टेन divide etc even the act of meditation is an expression of ignorance because it implies a duality chapter 1 stanza number 13 ne jato ne mrto asi tvam ne te dehe kadachana sarvam brahmeti vikhyatam bravviti bahuda shruti hi you are not born nor do you die at no time do you have a body the scripture declares in many different ways the well known dictum all is brahman all is brahman chapter 1 stanza number 14 se bayaha abhantar rosi tavam shivah sarvatr sarvada सततः कथम भ्रांत है प्रधावसी पिशाचवत यू आर ही इज एक्सटीरियर एंड इंटीरियर यू आर द ऑस्पीसियस वन एग्जिस्टिंग एवरीवेयर एट ऑल टाइम्स वाई आर यू रनिंग हिदर एंड विदर डिल्यूडेड लाइक एन अनक्लीन स्प्रिट चैप्टर वन संयोग चैप्टर वन स्टेंजा नंबर फिफ्टीन संयोग से योग से वर्तते नैते नी नम न हम जगन्नीतम सर्व आत्मा केवल यूनियन एंड सेपरेशन एग्जिस्ट इन रिगार्ड नाइदर टू यू नॉर टू मी देर इज नो यू नो मी नोर इज देर दिस यूनिवर्स ऑल इज वेरीली द सेल्फ एलॉन चैप्टर नंबर वन स्टेंजा नंबर सिक्सटीन शब्दादि पंच कषाय से नैवासी तम नेते पुनः तव मे परम तत्वत मत है किम प्रीत पश्ये यू डू नॉट बिलोंग टू दैट विच इज कंपोज ऑफ द फाइव ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ साइंस सच एज साउंड नॉर डज दैट बिलोंग टू यू यू इन डीड आर द सुप्रीम रियलिटी वाई देन डू यू सफर फाइव एट्सेट्रा the world appearance is composed of the five object of sense sight sound touch taste and sm- smell and is not in reality connected with the self chapter 1 stanza number 17 janam mrtur ne te chittam band moksho subhash bahu katham rodi si revats naam roopam ne te ne me for you there is no birth or death for you there is no mind for you there is no bondage or liberation no good or evil why do you shed tears my child neither you nor i have name and form chapter 1 stanza 18 aho chitta katham brahantah पर्धावसी पिशा चतपत अभिन्न पश्य चात्मा राग त्याग सुखी भव ओ माइंड वै डू यू वंडर अबाउट डिल्यूडेड लाइक एन अनक्लीन स्प्रिट बिहोल्ड द सेल्फ इंडिविजिबल बी हैप्पी थ्रू रिनाउंसिएशन ऑफ अटैचमेंट चैप्टर वन स्टेंजा नाइनटीन तौमे तत्व ही विकार वर्जित निष्कमेक ही विमोक्ष विग्रह न ते च रागो हर्थवा विराग कथम ही सतप्य काम काम यू वेरीली आर ट्रुथ डिवोइड ऑफ चेंज 
motionless one of the nature of freedom you have neither attachment nor aversion why do you suffer seeking the objects of desire chapter 1 stanza number 20 vadanti shrutayya sarvah nirgunam shuddham vayam shariram samam tatvam tanmah vidhine sansaya hai all the scriptures say that the truth is without attributes pure immutable bodiless and existing equally everywhere know me to be that there is not the least doubt about it stanza 21 chapter 1 साकारम नृत्यम विधि निराकरम निरंतरम एक तत्वोपदेशेन पुनर्भव संभव नो दैट विच हैज फॉर्म टू बी फॉल्स दैट विच इज फॉर्मलेस टू बी एटर्नल थ्रू द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दिस ट्रूथ देर इज नो लॉन्गर रीबर्थ इन टू दिस वर्ल्ड no longer etc knowing one self as eternal one is not born into this world anymore since incarnation is caused only by the soul's ignorance of its true nature chapter 1 stanza 22 ek me samam tatvam vadanti hi vipaschitah राग त्यागा पुनश्चित निश्चित मेका अनेकम ने विद्यते सेज से दैट रियलिटी इज वन ओनली एंड द सेम एंड थ्रू रिनंसिएशन ऑफ अटैचमेंट द माइंड विच इज वन एंड मैनी सीज इज टू एग्जिस्ट वन एंड मैनी वन इन ए हायर बट नॉट द हाइएस्ट स्टेट ऑफ इल्यूमिनेशन एंड मैनी इन द स्टेट ऑफ इग्नोरेंस चैप्टर वन स्टेंजा नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री एनाथम एनाथम आत्म स्वरूप च कथम समाधि अस्तिति न अस्तिति कथम समाधि मोक्ष स्वरूप यदि एक इफ इट इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द नोट सेल्फ हाउ कैन देर बी समाधि सुपर कॉन्शियस रियलाइजेशन इफ इट इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द सेल्फ हाउ कैन देर बी समाधि if it is both is and is not how can there be smadhi if all is one and of nature of freedom how can there be smadhi it the universe of experience smadhi the quieting and extinction of the mind as a result of which the eternal truth is realized Datta Triya maintains that the practice of samadhi has no justification if the universe of our experience is the not self then we are not in the state of samadhi for truth is not there if our experience is of the self then samadhi is superfluous chapter 1 stanza number 24 vis visuddho si समम तत्व विधे सत्व मजो वय है जानामी है न जानामी त्या आत्मान मन्य से कथम यू आर प्योर होमोजीनियस रियलिटी डिस एम्बोडीड एंड बॉर्न एंड इम्यूटेबल वाई डू यू थिंक ऑफ योर सेल्फ एज नो इट हियर और एज आई डू नॉट नो i know it here etc our knowledge of our self in this earthly state is incorrect to maintain that we do not have any true knowledge of our self here is also incorrect chapter 1 stanza number 25 tatvam asyadiva vakena svatma hi pratipadita 
नेति नेति श्रुति ब्रिवाद नर्तम पंच भौतिकम by such a sentence is as that thou art your own self is affirmed of that which is untrue and composed of the five elements that shruti says not this not this that etc the phenomenal existence five elements earth water fire air and ether of which according to the indian systems of philosophy the whole relative existence is constituted c varstri shruti the veda particularly the upanishads the original text of the vedanta philosophy chapter 1 stanza number 26 आत्म अन्य आत्मना सर्व तवया पूर्ण निरंतर ध्याता ध्यान नैते चित्त निर्लज निर्लज ध्यायते कथम As the self is filled by the self, so is all filled continuously by you. There is no meditator or meditation. Why does your mind meditate shamelessly? <coughs> shamelessly, one should be ashamed to meditate because meditation presupposes a shameful forgetfulness of one's true divine nature. Chapter one, stanza number twenty-seven. शिवम ने जाना कथम वदामी शिवम ने जाना कथम भजामी अहम शिव चेत परमार्थ तत्व समस्वरूपम गगनोपम च आई डो नॉट नो द सुप्रीम हाउ सेल आई स्पीक ऑफ हिम आई डो नॉट नो I do not know the supreme how shall I worship him if I am the supreme one who is the highest truth who is homogeneous being and like unto space how then shall I speak of him and worship him no etc empirical knowledge belongs to a lower state in which the supreme cannot be perceived therefore one cannot speak of knowing the supreme Chapter One, Stanza Number Twenty-Eight. Naham Tatvam Samam Tatvam Kalpana Hetu Varjitam Grahye Agrahye Kin Nirmuktam Sav Samvedam Katham Bhavit. The principle of ego is not the truth, which is homogeneous, which is free from the cause of superimposition and distinctions of perceived and perceiver. How can the ego be that which is aware of itself? Stanza twenty-nine, chapter number one. Anantrupam ne hi vastu kinche. तत्व स्वरूप ने ही वस्तु किंचित है आत्मिक रूपम परमार्थ तत्व न हिंस को वापी न चापे हिंसा देर इज नो सब्सटेंस वॉट एवर विच इज बाई नेचर अनलिमिटेड देर इज नो सब्सटेंस वॉट एवर विच इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ रियलिटी द वेरी सेल्फ इज द सुप्रीम ट्रूथ देर इज नाइदर इंजरी नोर नोर इंजरी इन इट चैप्टर वन स्टेंज आर थर्टी विशुद्धो वसी समम तत्व विधे जम व्यम विभ्रम कथम आत्म पर कथमात्मार्थे विभ्रांतो अहम कथम पुनः यू आर द होमोजेनियस रियलिटी यू आर प्योर बॉडीलेस बर्थलेस एंड इम्पेरिशेबल Why then do you have any delusion about the self? Again, why I am myself deluded? Chapter one, stanza number thirty-one. Ghate bhinne ghata akasham sulinam bhed varjitam siven mansha shudhon bhide prati bhati me. When the pot is broken, the space within it is absorbed in the infinite space and becomes undifferentiated. 
when the mind becomes the pure i do not perceive any difference between the mind and the supreme being and chapter 1 stanza 32 ने घटो ने घटा आकाशो ने जीवो जीव विग्रह है केवल ब्रह्म संविधि वेद वेद वर्जित देर इज नो पोर्ट देर इज नो पोर्ट्स इंटीरियर स्पेस ना इधर इज देर एन इंडिविजुअल सोल नॉर द फॉर्म ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल सोल नो द एब्सोल्यूट बर्मा डिवॉइड ऑफ नोए नोएपल एंड नोअर स्टेंजा नंबर थर्टी थ्री चैप्टर वन सर्वतर सर्वदा सर्व आत्मानं सततं ध्रुवं सर्वं शून्यं शून्यं च तन्मा विधीने संशय नो मी टू बी दैट सेल्फ हु इज एवरीथिंग एंड एवरीवेयर एट ऑल टाइम्स हु इज एटर्नल स्टडी द ऑल द नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट एंड द एग्जिस्टेंट हैव नो डाउट नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट द फिनोमिनल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ बीइंग व्हिच हैज नाउ डिसअपीयर्ड चैप्टर 1 स्टेंजा 34 वेदा न लोका न सुरा न यज्ञ वर्णाश्रमो नैम कुल न जाति न धूम मार्गो न च दीप्ति मार्गो ब्रह्मैक रूपम परमार्थ तत्व देर आर नो वेदास नो वर्ड्स नो गॉड्स no sacrifices there is certainly no caste no stage in life no family no birth there is neither the path of smoke nor the path of light there is only the highest truth the homogeneous brahma say stage in life any of the four stages into which life is divided by the hindus namely those of the student the householder the contemplative and the mendicant the path of smoke etc the two paths along which according to hinduism souls travel to the invisible worlds after death <coughs> chapter 1 stanza number 35 व्यापे व्यापक निर्मुक्त है तौनेक सफल यदि प्रत्यक्ष चाप प्रोक्ष हया आत्मा मन से कथम इफ यू आर फ्री ऑफ द परवेडिड एंड परवेडर इफ यू आर वन एंड फुलफिल्ड हाउ कैन यू थिंक ऑफ योर सेल्फ एज डायरेक्टली परसेप्टिबल बाय द सेंसेस और बियॉन्ड द रेंज ऑफ द सेंसेस फ्री एटसेट्रा वन हु हैज ट्रांसेंडेड द सेंस ऑफ डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन फॉर्म्स परवेडेड एंड द डिवाइन सब्सटेंस परवेडर सच ए वन देयरफॉर हैज कांस्टेंट अनऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ डिविनिटी डायरेक्ट that is to say in the manner in which the ignorant man perceives with his senses in the highest state of realization sense perception is no longer distinguishable from spiritual intuition chapter 1 stanza number 36 advaitakam ke chiddi chanti dvaitmi chan अद्वैतम के छिदंती द्वैतम छिदंती चापरे समम तत्व ने विंदंती द्वैता अद्वैत विवर्जितम सम सी के नॉन ड्यूलिटी अदर्ज ड्यूलिटी दे डू नॉट नो द ट्रूथ which is the same at all times and everywhere which is devoid of both duality and non duality chapter 1 stanza number 37 saveta di varnam rahitam sabda di gun varjitam kathanti katham tatvam mano vacha gam gocharam 
how can they describe the truth which is beyond mind and words which is devoid of white and other colors of sound and other qualities chapter 1 stanza number 38 yada anirtam midakam yada yada nirth midam sarvam dehadi gaganopam tada hi brahm samveti na tadvait paramparah when all these appear to you as false when the body and so on appear to you like space then you know brahma truly then for you there is no dual series dual series such as i and thou self and god i and it self and the world and so on also it means self and not self and the series of their evolutes chapter 1 stanza number 39 parain sahaja atma api haye bhinnam pratibhati me vyomakaram tatha vivekam dhyata dhyanam katham bhavit even my natural self appear to me as non distinct from the supreme self it appear to be one and like space how can there be meditator and meditation chapter 1 stanza number 40 yat karomi yad shanami yajju homi dadami yatah etat sarvam nene kinchi divishuddho ham jo vaya what i do what i eat what i sacrifice what i give all this is not mine in the least i am pure unborn undecaying chapter 1 stanza 41 sarvam jagadvidhi निराकृतिदम सर्वम जगदिविधि विकारहीनम सर्वम जगदिविधि शुद्ध विशुद्ध देहम स जगदिविधि शिव एकम रूपम नो ऑल दिस यूनिवर्स टू बी फॉर्मलेस नो ऑल दिस यूनिवर्स टू बी विदाउट चेंज no all this universe to be of a purified body no all this universe to be of the nature of the absolute of a purified body that is to say the material substance of which the universe appears to be constituted is really nothing but pure spirit chapter number 1 stanza 42 तत्वं तवं ने ही संदेह है किं जाना मैं त्वा पुनः असंवेदम सव संवेदम आत्मानं मन्ने से कथम यू आर वेरीली द ट्रुथ देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट अदरवाइज व्हाट डू आई नो व्हाई डू यू कंसीडर द सेल्फ व्हिच इज परसेप्स परसेप्टिबल टू इटसेल्फ एज इम्परसेप्टिबल otherwise if one does not perceive every being as a divine one is still ignorant chapter 1 stanza 43 maya maya katham tatah chhaya chhaya na vidyate tatvam ekam midam sarvam vyomakaram niranjanam my child how can there be illusion and non illusion shadow and lack of shadow all this is one truth all this is of the nature of space and without taint chapter 1 stanza number 44 aadi madhe ant mukto aham ne badho aham kadachane स्वभाव निर्मल शुद्ध इति मे निश्चिता मते ही आई एम फ्री इन द बिगिनिंग इन द मिडल एंड इन द एंड आई एम नेवर बाउंड दिस इज माय श्योर नॉलेज दैट आई एम नेचुरली स्पॉटलेस एंड प्योर चैप्टर 1 स्टेंजा नंबर 45 महदादि जगत सर्वम ने किंचित प्रतिभाति ने ब्रह्मैव केवलम सर्वम कथम वर्णाश्रम सिद्धति 
the whole universe beginning with the principle of cosmic intelligence is not in the least manifest to me all is indeed brahma alone how can there be any existence in caste or stage of life for me chapter 1 stanza number 46 जानामि सर्वथा सर्व महमेको निरंतरम निरा अल्लम शून्यम चैशून्यम व्युमादि पंचकमह आई नो दैट ऑल इन एवरी वे इज द वन इंडिविजुअल आई व्हिच इज सेल्फ सस्टेंड एंड फुल व्हाइल द फाइव एलिमेंट्स बिगिनिंग विद इथर आर एम्पटी चैप्टर 1 स्टेंजा नंबर 47 ने षड्ढो ने पुमाने स्त्री न बोधो नयुम कल्पन सानंदो वा निरानंद आत्मान मन से कथम द सेल्फ इज न इधर यूनिक मैन नॉर वुमेन इट इज न इधर आइडिया नॉर इमेजिनेशन हाउ कैन यू थिंक द सेल्फ टू बी फुल ऑफ जॉय और जॉयलेस फुल ऑफ जॉय हियर जॉय इज यूज्ड इन द सेंस ऑफ रिलेटिव जॉय एज परसीव्ड बाय द सेंसेस एंड द माइंड जॉयलेस हियर द रेफरेंस इज टू ट्रांसेंडेंटल जॉय चैप्टर वन स्टेंजा फोर्टी एट षड्यो न नैवीं शुद्ध मनोविनाशा न गुरूप गुरूपदेशा नो नैवीं शुद्ध स्वयं चेतव स्वम बुद्ध द सेल्फ सर्टनली डज नॉट बिकम प्योर थ्रू दि प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सिक्स लिम्ड योगा it certainly is not purified by the destruction of the mind it certainly is not made pure by the instructions of the teacher it is itself the truth it is itself the illumined one six limbs consisting of six parts or steps namely posture control of the vital force self withdrawal concentration meditation and samadhi चैप्टर वन स्टेंजा नंबर फोर्टी नाइन न ही पंचात्म को देहो विदेहो वर्तते न ही आत्मयी केवल सर्व तुरी चैत्र्य कथम there is no body made up of five elements nor is there anyone who is disembodied all is verily the self alone how can there be the three states and the fourth five elements c verse 3 and 25 anyone etc when the pure self is spoken of as disembodied the idea of body is associated with it do negatively all such qualifications of the self or soul are denied in this as well as in other verses three states etc the waking state the dream state and the deep sleep state the ordinary conditions of individuals when they are ignorant of their true nature which is usually called the fourth or transcendental state to name the transcendental state as the fourth is itself an error as such a designation which makes it a correlative of the other three states is inapplicable to the absolute self chapter 1 stanza number 50 ne baddho नयु मुक्त अहम न चाहम ब्रह्मण है पृथक न कर्ता न च भोक्ता अहम व्याप व्यापक वर्जित आई एम नॉट बाउंड आई एम नॉट इंडीड लिबरेटेड एंड आई एम नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म नाइदर doer nor enjoyer i am devoid of a distinction of the pervaded and the pervader chapter 1 
liberated the self cannot be liberated since it it was never bound pervaded etc the sanskrit words for pervaded and pervaded are vyapa and vyapaka meaning the particular and the universal the particular is pervaded by or constituted of the universal the self can be neither particular nor universal as both these designations imply distinction division and limitation chapter 1 stanza 51 yatha jalam jale nestam salilam bhed varjitam prakriti purusham tadve bhine pratibhati me as water when water has been poured into water has no distinction so purusha and prakriti appear non different to me purusha etc purusha soul prakriti nature ordinary ordinarily considered to be opposite principles conscious and unconscious they are here recognized as identical in the highest spiritual experience chapter number 1 stanza 52 यदि नाम ने मुक्तो असी ने बद्धो असी कदाचन साकार निराकार कथम If indeed you are never bound or liberated, how then can you think yourself with form or as formless? with the form etc the self of course is without form but saying so implies recognition of form therefore even the idea of the formlessness of the self is repudiated chapter 1 stanza 53 janami te param roopam pratyaksham gagnopam yatha param hi roopam yan mari chijal sannibham I know your supreme form to be directly perceivable like the sky I know your lower form to be as water in a mirage like the sky without division or distinction without change lower etc apparent form chapter 1 stanza number 54 ne garun ne gurun upadeshas cha ne chopar dhin चोपाधिर्णम मे क्रिया विदेहम गगनम विद्धि विशुद्धो अहम स्वभावतः आई हैव नाइदर टीचर नॉर इंस्ट्रक्शन लिमिटिंग एडजंक्ट नॉर एक्टिविटी नो दैट आई एम बाय नेचर प्योर बॉडीलेस लाइक द स्काई लिमिटिंग एट्सेट्रा एनी क्वालिफिकेशन चैप्टर वन स्टेंजा फिफ्टी फाइव विशुद्धोषे शरीरो असी न ते चित्त परातम परम अहम च आत्मा परम तत्वमिति वक्त न लज्जसे यू आर प्योर यू आर विदाउट ए बॉडी योर माइंड इज नॉट हायर देन द हाईएस्ट यू नीड नॉट बी अशेम्ड टू से आई एम द सेल्फ द सुप्रीम ट्रुथ माइंड एट्सेट्रा द माइंड इज नॉट द सेल्फ stanza number 56 chapter 1 katham ro disi re chitta haya atam va atam manna bhava pibvat kalati tam advaitam parma mirtam why are you weeping o oh mind do you do you the self be the self by means of the self drink my child the supreme nectar of non duality transcending all divisions means etc one cannot attend to self knowledge except through the self itself how can the mind which is known not self reveal the self chapter 1 stanza 57 बोधो ने चाबा बोधो ने बोध बोध है एवं चश्य सदा बोध है स बोध है नान्य भवेत 
There is neither knowledge nor ignorance nor knowledge combined with ignorance. He who has always such knowledge is himself knowledge. It is never otherwise knowledge. The Absolute is spoken of as existence, knowledge and bliss. Stanza 58 Chapter 1 Jnanam ne tarko ne samadhi yogo ne desa kaloho ne guru padesaha so bhav sanvitti rahem ne chai tatam akas kalpam sahajam dhruvam chai there is no need of knowledge, reasoning, time, space, instruction from a teacher or attainment of Smadhi. I am naturally the perfect consciousness, the real like the sky, spontaneous and steady. Smadhi, C verse 23. Datta Triya maintains that the practice of Samadhi is not necessary because according to him the self has never been bound and hence does not require to practice anything to gain knowledge of itself. The self which is consciousness itself can never lose consciousness of its true nature and therefore Samadhi is superfluous. Chapter 1, Stanza 59 Ne jato ehem mirto vapi Ne me karam subha shubham Vishuddham nirgunam brahm bandho Mukti katham mam I was not born nor have I death I have no action, good or evil I am Brahma, stainless, without qualities. How can there be bondage or liberation for me? Chapter 1, stanza 60. Yadi Sarabhagato Devaha Sitraha Purno Nirantraha Antram Hine Pashyami Se Bahye Abhyantraha Katham O God pervades all, if God is immovable, full, undivided, then I see no division. How can he have exterior or interior? How etc. Exterior or interior cannot be spoken of him who is indivisible and infinite. Stanza 61 Chapter 1 Safurtaye Jakat Kirtisan Makhmandita Nirantaram Aho Maya Maho Mohu Dvaita Advaita Vikalpana The whole universe shines undivided and unbroken. Oh, the Maya, the great delusion, the imagination of duality and non duality. Maya, ignorance. Stanza 62, Chapter 1 Sakaram Te Nirakaram Neti Neti Te Sarvadaha Bheda Abhedo Vi Nirmuktahu Vartati Kevla Heshva Always not this, not this, to both the formless and the formed. Only the absolute exist, transcending difference and non-difference. Not this, etc. No formed or formless object can be considered to be the ultimate reality. Stanza 63, Chapter 1 Ne te che mata, che pita che bandhu, ne te che patni ne sutas che mitram, ne pakspato ne vi pakspata hai, katham hi santat piryam che hi chitta hai. You have no mother, no father, no wife, no son, no relative, no friend. You have no likes or dislikes. Why is this anguish in your mind? Diva naktam ne te chittam udaya satmayo ne hi vidhi se srir tavdhuman kalpiyanti katham buddha. O mind for you, there is no day or night, rising or setting. How can the wise imagine an embodied state for the bodyless? Chapter 1, stanza 65. Na vibhaktam vibhaktam cha nehi dukh sukhadi cha nehi sarvam sarvam cha vidhi chatam anam vayam. 
The self is neither divided nor undivided nor has it is sadness, happiness and the like, nor is it all or less than all, know the self to be immutable. Stanza 66 Chapter 1 Na ahem karta ne bhokta che ne me karam puradhuna ne me deho videho va nirmo meti mameti kim. I am not the doer or enjoyer work I have none now or formerly I have no body nor am I bodiless how can I have or not have a sense of myness. Chapter 1 Stanza 67 Neme Raga Diko Dosu Dukam Deha Dikam Neme Atmanam Vidhi Mamekam Vishalam Gagnopam I have no faults such as passion and the like, nor have I any sorrow arising from the body. Know me to be the oneself vast and like the sky. Chapter 1, Stanza 68 Sakhe manahe kin bahu jalpitein Sakhe manahe sarav idam vitkariyam yata sarbhutam kathim mayate tau nev tatvam gagnop mamasi Friend, mind of what you do is much when talk. Friend, mind, all this is mere conjecture. I have told you that which is the essence, you indeed are the truth like the sky, all, etc. <clears throat> Words and ideas being finite and related to infinite objects can never reveal truth completely. Chapter 1, Stanza 69 Yen kena pi bhavin yatra kutra mirta api yogin sutra yo, yogin sutra uh, sutra liyante ghata akasam vivambre In whatever place yogis dies, in whatever state there they dissolve as the space of a jar dissolved into the sky, dissolve, etc. becomes identified with the self. Stanza 70, Chapter 1 Tirthi chante jagehe va nasti smirti rapi yityajna sam kale tanum mukta hai kevalle vyapko bhavete giving up the body in a holy place or in the house of a chandala the yogi even if he has lost consciousness becomes identified with the absolute as soon as he is free of the body chandala one belonging to the lowest stratum considered unclean and impure of hindu society lost etc that is to say Apparently so, the inward awareness of the yogi can never be clouded. Chapter 1, Stanza 71 Dharmarat Kam Mokshascha Div Diva Te Chara Charam Mananyante Yoginah Sarvam Marichi Jal Sannibham the yogi is considered duty in life, pursuit of wealth, enjoyment of love, liberation and everything movable or immovable such as man and so on to be a mirage. Stranger 72 Chapter 1 Atita Nagatam Karam Vartmanam tathayucha ne karomi ne bhujjami iti me nishchala matihi. This is my certain perception. I neither perform nor enjoy past action, future action or present action. Chapter 1, Stanza 73 Sunyagare samarsaputi sittashtanikaha sukhu Sukham Vadhute Chartihi Naganesa Takta Garvam Vindati Keval Mat Mani Sarvam 
the avadhuta alone pure in evenness of feeling abides happy in an empty dwelling place having renounced all he moves about naked he perceives the absolute the all within himself avadhuta a liberated soul one who has passed away from or shaken of all worldly attachments and cares and has realized his identity with god stanza 74 chapter 1 री where there is neither virtue nor vice chapter 1 stanza 75 vindati vindati nahi nahi mantram chando lakshanam nahi nahi tantram samar samagno bhavit potah parlapit mete param matra dhutam the avadhuta never knows any mantra in vedic meter nor any tantra this is the supreme utterance of the avadhuta purified by meditation and merged in the sameness of infinite being mantra is hymen or a sacred prayer tantra system of rites and ceremonies this the truth as enunciated in the whole discourse Chapter One, Stanza Seventy-Six. Sarva Sunyam Sunyam, Te Satya Satyam Ne Vidyate, So Bhav Abhavata Hai Proktam, Saftra Samviti Purvakam. There exists neither complete void nor voidlessness, neither truth nor untruth. The Avadhuta, having realized the truths of the scriptures, has uttered this spontaneous from his own nature. Truth, complete truth, does not exist in the plane of relative existence. So, my dear friends, chapter 1 of Avadhuta Gita is completed. and here ends this video please like comment and share the video and subscribe my channel thank you namaskar namaskar my dear friend and video on avadhuta gita second video will start with chapter number 2 thanks a lot namaskar